Welcome to our customer units of measurement flipped video. Please make sure that you have your homework and make sure that you have your reference sheet that has all the different units of measurement on it. You're going to need this for your homework. Let's start off with customer units of measurement. Customary units of measurement include feet, inches, feet, yards, and miles. A foot is equal to 12 inches. A yard is equal to 36 inches. It is also equal to 3 feet. And a mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Please make sure that you record this on your homework. I'm going to move on, but again, if you need to pause this video at any time, you can pause. Let's look at some benchmarks. A benchmark for an inch is your knuckle, and you go knuckle to knuckle on your thumb. So if you look at this picture, you can see it's knuckle to knuckle on a thumb. Again, not everybody's thumb is the same size, and not everybody is the same size, so this is just a benchmark measurement. A benchmark for a foot is your forearm. And if you look at this picture, you can see a foot, and it's this part of your arm. So that's a benchmark measurement for a foot. And for a yard, it's from your hand to your shoulder, and that's a yardstick. So you can see that that's the benchmark measurement for a yard. For a mile, that's something that you're going to have to get into your car and drive a far distance. So if you're thinking about miles, think about how far you have to drive. Let's move on to units of capacity. Make sure you fill this in on your homework. Customary units of capacity include cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. There are two cups in a pint. There are two pints in a quart. And there are four quarts in a gallon. And if you look over here at our example, I have a big giant G. G stands for gallon. And you can see the four quarts in the gallon. And you can see the two pints in each quart and two cups inside of each pint. Now, if you want to count them all, you can count and see two, four, six, eight. There are eight pints in a gallon. And if you count the cups, it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen cups in a gallon. If you want to draw this on your homework, you can. It's a great tool to have to reference. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to talk about how to convert. If you're going to convert from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller unit of measurement, that's horse to fly. So horse to fly means to multiply. If you're going from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller unit of measurement, you are going to multiply. For example, if you're going to from feet to inches. Let's look closer. I have feet here. I know that there are 12 inches in one foot. But here, I have five feet. So if I take five feet, I multiply them by the 12 inches in one foot. That equals 60. So there are 60 inches in five feet. Let's go on to yards. If I look here, I have three yards. But I know that there are three feet in every one yard. So I'm going to take the three yards that I have multiply by the three feet in every one yard, and that equals nine. So there are nine feet in three yards. Again, I have yards again. So let's look. I have two yards, and I have feet again. So I want to know how many feet are in two yards. So I know that there are three feet for every one yard. So I take two times three and that's six. So there are six feet in two yards. Let's move on to capacity. Capacity works the same way. Horse to fly, multiply. Bigger unit to smaller unit, multiply. So how many cups are in a pint? Well, there are two cups for every pint. So now I have four pints, but I know that there's two cups for every one pint. So I take four times the two for one pint, and that's eight. So there are eight cups in four pints. Let's move on to quarts. I know that there are two pints in every quart. 
I have three of them though, so I have to multiply that by the two because there are two pints in one quart, but I have three, so I have to multiply that, and that's six. So there are six pints, there are six pints in three quarts. Now let's go on to gallons. I have six gallons, but if I look at my sheet, I know that there are four quarts in every gallon. So I'm going to take the six that I have, multiply it by the four. Six times four is 24. So there are 24 quarts in six gallons. Now I'm going from quarts to cups. Here's where it gets complicated. I know that there are four quarts that I'm working with. Okay, but I can't go from quarts to cups. So first I have to go from quarts to pints. Then I can convert from there. So there are four quarts and I know that there are two pints in every quart. So I'm going to do four times two is eight. Then from there I know that there are eight, that I have eight pints. So I'm going to write pints right here. Then I'm going to take the eight pints that I have, and I know that there are two cups for every pint. So I'm going to do eight times two, which is 16 cups. So there are 16 cups in four quarts, but I had to go from, I had to go from quarts to pints, and then pints to cups. Now it's time to do the opposite type of conversion. We're going to use division because division is the opposite of multiplication. If you're going from a smaller unit of measurement to a larger unit of measurement, you are going to divide. So that would be fly to horse, divide of course. So we're going to go with inches to feet first. So I have 48 inches. I know that there are 12 inches in every foot. So I'm going to take 48 divided by how many inches are in a foot, and that's going to give me 4. So there are 4 feet in 48. 48 inches makes 4 feet. Let's go on to feet to yards. So I have 12 feet. I know that there are 3 feet for every yard. So how many yards can I make? Well, I take 12 and I divide that by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 12 feet will make 4 yards. Let's go on to 29. Now 29, it gets a little complicated. How many times can I do 3 because there are 3 feet per 1 yard? How many times can 3 go into 29? Well, that's nine times, but how, you're going to have some feet left over. So it's nine yards with two feet left over. So nine yards, you can make nine complete yards and have two feet left over. Here's a really complicated one. I'm going to do 216 inches. And I'm going to convert that to yards. But first, I have to convert it to feet because I can't go from inches to yards. So I know that I can go from inches to feet. So 12 goes into 21 one time. And that leaves 96. And 12 goes into 96 eight times. So that gives me 18 feet. And now I have to take 18 feet and divided by 3 because there are 3 feet for every yard. So 18 divided by 3 gives me 6. So there are 6 yards. With 216 inches, I can make 6 yards. That was a really tough one. Now let's go on to capacity. Again, if you have a smaller unit to a larger unit, fly to horse, divide of course. If you're going to go from a smaller unit of measurement to a larger unit of measurement, you're going to divide. For example, if you're going from feet to yards. So let's start with cups. I have eight cups. Now, how many pints is that? Well, I know that two cups makes a pint. 
So I'm going to do 8 divided by 2, and that's 4. So 8 cups makes 4 pints. Let's go on to 16 pints and how many quarts? Well, I know that there's 2 pints for every quart. So I'm going to take 16 and divide that by 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. So 16 pints will make 8 quarts. Now I'm going to go to quarts to gallons. I know that there are 4 quarts for every gallon. So I'm going to take the 16 quarts that I have and divide it by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 16 quarts will make 4 gallons. You're really going to want to know this whenever you start making things like Kool-Aid and you can't find some measuring cups. This is going to be very helpful. Okay, let's go on to cups to pints. So I have 7 cups and I know that there are 2 cups for every pint. So I'm going to take 7 and divide it by 2. But wait, I can only make 3 full pints and I have 1 cup left over. So that's 3 full pints and 1 cup is left over. Last one, I'm going to go from cups all the way to quarts. But here's the problem, I can't go from cups to quarts. So first I have to go from cups to pints. So I'm going to take 12, and I know that there are 2 cups for every pint. So two, 12 gets divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So that gives me 6 pints. Now I'm going to go from pints to quarts. I know that there are 2 pints for every quart. So I'm going to take 6 and divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. So there are 3 quarts. For 12 cups will make 3 quarts. So please watch this video as many times as you need to. Please pause and re-watch anything that you need to watch. And again, if you have any questions, please come and ask either one of us, myself, Ms. Hearn, or Mrs. Drake, and we will gladly help guide you. And again, there will be a quiz over this on Friday. So. If you don't do well on the quiz, it's not the end of the world. That's okay because we're going to reteach this all week. And if you got this but you kind of forgot, feel free to jump in on any of our lessons because this is for you and this is for you to watch as many times as possible. So please fill in and complete the rest of your homework. Practice, practice, practice as much as you possibly can. Watch this video as much as you can and get prepared for the quiz that we're going to give you on Friday. Have a great day.